Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Today we shall discuss Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 6474. Babu, Hifl al-Lisan under Kitab al-Riqaq. Riqaq means to make the heart tender, soft, to make the heart mind hmm? soft or tender. Hmm? <coughs> then <coughs> under that kitab Babu Hifl al-Lisan. Lisan means tongue. tongue. Hifl means to keep, to keep, here to keep away from sins. Babu Hifl al-Lisan, that is uh, chapter regarding protecting one's tongue from sins or keeping away the tongue from sins. sins. So throughout human history, you see, so many problems were created by the two boneless organs of human beings. Which are they? The tongue, tongue and the private, private part. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam assured us, if a man could keep away from sins with these organs, then with these boneless organs, then he assured us Jannah or Paradise. Means so many problems or so many sins will be avoided if a person could keep away from sins with these organs. Okay. So here Imam Bukhari quotes one part of a hadith in the start and one verse from the Quran it is verse number 18, 18 of Surah Qaf. The first part of the, uh, the, the segment of the hadith is like this. وَمَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْأَخْرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لِيَسْمُدْ وَمَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْأَخْرِ If any person believes in Allah and the last day, then فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا Then he should Say. Say what? Yes. Khaira. What is good? What is virtue? What is khair? Aw liyasmut. Or he should keep silence. silence. Okay. So that is part of a hadith. Here, uh, the part is given in this Bible. Because it is regarding hifud al It is keeping one's tongue away from sins. Or unwanted say, thoughts. Okay. The full hadith is like this. And Abi Huraira Allah went who and the Rasul Allah is Allah is in call. Mangani minibilahi will lumil akhir, falliakul khaira, awliyas mut. Woman cani minibilahi will lumil akhir, falliukrim jarahu. Woman cani minibilahi will lumil akhir, falliukrim waifahu. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam such narrated by. Abu Huraira or Yallahu and who from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Man gani yu'minu billahi wal lewmi al-akhir If any person believe in Allah and the last day, the doomsday, the day of judgment then what should he do? Fal yaqul khaira He should say what is khair, what is good only Aw liyas mut or he should keep silence So if one talk, he should talk good things only. Otherwise, he should keep silence. Eh? If the person is believing in Allah and the last day. Also, the next part. And if any person believes in Allah and the last day, then he should respect his neighbor. neighbor. Jar means neighbor. neighbor. Akrim jaraka walau kana kafra. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in one hadith, Akrim jaraka, you should respect your neighbor walau kana kafra, even if he is an atheist or even if he is a kafir, even if he is a disbeliever in Allah, eh? even if he is denying Allah, his his he is your neighbor and you should respect your neighbor. Okay, hmm? then, Waman kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir. 
And if any person believes in Allah and the last day, فَلْيُكْرِمْ ضَيْفَهُ He should respect his guest. Life means guest. Ziyafat, hospitality is very much important in Islam. Okay. So here in this hadith, three things are mentioned. If we talk, we should talk good things only. Otherwise, if we can't, then we should keep silence. Then, if we uh, we should respect our neighbors, okay, we should respect our guests, okay. Then, then Imam Bukhari quotes one verse from Holy Quran in Surah Qaf, verse number eighteen. مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Man does not utter any word. مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ Man does not utter any word. إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ Except there it is recorded or except in the presence of رَقِيب and عَتِيد It is the two angels who were uh, entrusted by Allah to record man's deeds, both good and bad. Okay, Raqib and Atid. Now, <coughs> now the hadith in this bab. So, in this bab, four hadiths are given here. Here, we discuss the first hadith only. That is, in Sahih al Bukhari, the total number uh, 6474. Okay. Hmm? حدثنا محمد بن أبي بكر المقدمي حدثنا عمر بن علي سمي أبا هازم أن سهل بن سعد أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من يضمن لي ما بين لحييه وما بين رجليه أضمن له الجنة سهل بن سعد رضي الله عنه رپورت هذا الحديث من Prophet Muhammad Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said May yaduman di Ma bayna lihiyihi Whoever guarantee Me Regarding The chastity of What is In between The two jaw bones That is the tongue The chastity of the tongue Of the person And وَمَا بَيْنَ رِجْلَيْهِ And regarding the chastity of the organ in between the two legs or the two thighs. That is farge. That is the private part. That is the sex. أَضْمَنُ لَهُ الْجَنَّةِ I will guarantee him or I assure him what الْجَنَّةِ The paradise. Jannah. The heaven. So, if the person is able to Keep away from sins with those organs, these two organs, these two boneless organs, then I will assure him Jannah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. So that is the hadith. Now, Fatuh al-Bari of Imam Ibn Hajar Asqalani, Al-Asqalani gives the explanation of this hadith here. So important points we discuss. Here, Hifud al-Lisan means Keeping it away from unwanted thoughts. So keep one's tongue means what? To keep it away from unwanted or unnecessary thoughts. Okay. Eh? Then Abu Juhaifa records one hadith and it is recorded by Abu Juhaifa reports one hadith. It is recorded by Bayhaqi and Abu Shaykh. Here uh, the hadith is like this أحب الأعمال إلى الله حفظ اللسان the most loud عمل or action or deed of abd eh? in the sight of Allah is حفظ اللسان حفظ اللسان means to keep, keep the, uh, yes allowed to huh? keep the tongue to keep the tongues from sins sins Okay. Or unwanted thoughts. No. وقال ابن بطوال جاء عن الحسن أنهما يكتبان كل شيء وأن إكرما يكتبان الخير والشر 
فقد يقضي العبلة تفسير أبي صالح في قوله تعالى يمح الله ما يشاء ويثبت قال تكتب الملائكة كل ما يتلفظ به الإنسان ثم يثبت الله من ذلك ما له وما عليه ويمح ما عدا ذلك قلت هذا لو ثبت كان نصا في ذلك ولكنه من رباية الكلب وهو لطيف جدا Now Ibn Batwal quotes from Hassan uh, The two angels that is Raqib and Atid So here Bukhari mentions one verse ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد So if a person pronounces one word then it will be recorded by the two angels that is Raqib and Atid The, no, Ibn Batwal says regarding this verse, that is Hassan's view. He records two views here, one Hassan's view. That is the two angels, Raqib and Atid, record everything. Record everything. Then also he records from Iqrima, Iqrima, Iqrima. They record virtues and vices only. So according to Hassan, they record all things. A third by human beings. Okay. Now, according to Ikrima, there are courts both good and evil. That is good and evil only. And in between, there are permitted things. Not good, neither good nor bad. Like that. Yeah? So, according to Ikrima's view. But the former view, that is the view of Hassan is more powerful. Yeah? Because it is in consonance with the, the tafsir of Abu Salih given to Allah's words Yamhu Allahu ma yasha with bit in another words Allah say Yamhu Allahu ma yasha Allah deletes what he intends and wa yuthbit and he fixes what he intends okay and regarding that verse Abu Salih say what and this verse comes in surah ar-ra'd surah ar-ra'd And regarding this verse, Abu Salih says, what? That is, the angel records, the angels, the two angels records everything. Records everything. And Allah deletes, uh, Allah fixes what is for the person and what is against the person. What is for the person means what is good or what is in favor of the person. What all good things he had done. Uh, that is fixed by Allah. That is fixed by Allah. So angels record everything. Then it is fixed by Allah. That is what is good for him. And what is bad for him. That is what are vices, what are evil things, what are bad things he utter. Uh, that also is fixed by Allah. That is both evil and good fixed by Allah. So angels record everything. Then good and bad things uh, fixed by Allah. And Allah deletes what remains. It is neither good nor bad. Such things are deleted by Allah. So this is the tafsir of يَمْحُوا ma يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِدْ For that verse, Abu Salih gave a tafsir like this. And this tafsir is in harmony with the view of Hassan. What did Hassan say? That is, <coughs> Both the angels, Raqib and Atid, records everything. And then, so this uh, tafsir is in harmony with it, that view. Okay. No. Well, Raqib will have Well, Atid will have Now, Raqib means one who watches, one who keeps, one who observes, like this. Atid means one who is present, Hadir. Hadr, you know, Hadr, Hajar. Hmm? So, then. Wa warada fi fadli sum di idda tu ahadith. Minha hadithu Sufyan ibn Abdullah al-Saqafi. Kultu, ya Rasul Allah, ma akhwafu ma takhafu alay. Kala hadha wa akhadha bilisanihi. Wa akhadha bilisanihi. Wa akhadha bilisanihi. This one. Okay. Then. قال هذا وأخذ بلسانه أخرجه الترمذي وقال حسن صحيح. That is in regarding the superiority or or فضل of some 
Somt means keeping silent. Keeping silent. It is silence. So regarding the superiority of silence, keeping silent, there are many hadiths. Eh? And one is regarding, uh, one is from Sufyan ibn Abdullah as-Saqafi. And he asked Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Ya Rasulullah, O the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa Ma akhfahu, ma akhwafu, ma takhafu alayya. What is the most fearful thing which you fear regarding me or from me? One sahabi asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma akhwafu, ma takhafu alayya. That is, what is the most fearful thing which you fear from me or which you fear regarding me? Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Qala, hala. Then he took or touched his tongue, the person's. Okay. Then he said, Qala hala. This one. Okay. This one. I fear this one. Your tongue. I fear your tongue. Okay. And this hadith is recorded by Tirmudi and he said it is authentic hadith. Hassan Sahih. Okay. Then. وَاتَّقَدَّمَ فِي الْإِيمَانِ حَدِيثُ الْمُسْلِمِ مَنْ سَلِمَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ مِنْ لِسَانِهِ وَيَدِهِ وَلِأَحْمَدَ وَالصُّحْأَهُ إِبْنِ حِبَّانِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ الْبَرَاءِ وَكُفَّ لِسَانَكَ إِلَّا مِنْ خَيْرِ Now, we have seen in Kitab Al-Iman earlier, we have seen مَنْ سَلِمَ الْمُسْلِمُ Who is a Muslim? In Kitab Al-Iman we have seen الْمُسْلِمُ مَنْ سَلِمَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ مِنْ لِسَانِهِ وَيَدِهِ Okay. That is a Muslim. Who is a Muslim? A Muslim is that person from whom other Muslims are saved from his tongue and from his hands. So, from the evils of his tongue and from the attacks of his hands. If other Muslims are saved, then such a person is a Muslim. Otherwise, he is not a Muslim. Okay. So, here, Muslims are particularly mentioned. Okay. Eh? That should not mean that others can be harmed or non-Muslims can be harmed. A yeah, Muslim should not attack non-Muslims too. A yeah, Muslim should not do any injustice to non-Muslims too. Okay. Eh? But here, here in this hadith, Muslims are particularly mentioned. Okay. Eh? Others also should not be harmed because we have seen in different hadiths and verses of Holy Quran, eh? the hadiths of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we should respect our neighbor. We should not do any harm to other people. لا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم على ألا تعذروا. The enmity regarding uh, other people eh? or the enmity of yours eh? towards other قوم, other community should not inspire you to do any injustice towards them. Okay. Eh? That is the verse of Holy Quran. We have seen. Eh? We have read it earlier. Then, in hadith of Bara, we see, وَكُفَّ لِسَانَكِ إِلَّا مِنْ خَيْرٍ You should obstruct, you should hold your tongue إِلَّا مِنْ خَيْرٍ except for goodness. It is for goodness, for good purpose, you should use your tongue. That you should use. But except for that, you should obstruct or you should prevent, you should keep or you should hold your tongue. Follow. Follow. Yes. Next. When Uqbatu bin Amir qultu, Ya Rasulullah, man najat, qala amsik alayka lisanak al-hadith. Akhrajhu at-tirmudi wa hasanahu. No. Uqtabatu bin Amir say Kultu he is asked I asked That means Uqtabatu bin Amir reports this hadith Ya Rasulullah O Rasulullah Allah Messenger Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man najat What is Najat Victory What is Yes say Win That is winning That is victory What is victory What is victory Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied you should hold your tongue. If you can hold your tongue, then you are victorious. 
then you are winning. You are a winner. Okay. If you can hold your tongues from unwanted talks, then you are a winner. You are a victor. You are a victorious person. Okay. Then. And this hadith is recorded by Tirmudhi and he said it is Hassan. وفي حديث معاذ مرفوعا ألا أخبرك بملاك الأمر كله Then in another hadith of Mu'adh رضي الله عنه Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم asked them ألا أخبرك بملاك الأمر Shall I inform you about the beauty of things or the malak al-amr of all things كف هذا you should hold this one you should hold this one what Ah, tongue. Say aloud. Wa ashara ila alisani. And he pointed towards his tongue. Eh? Then, wa inna la mu'akhaduna. Kultu. I asked it. Who? Mu'adh, ri Allah, when I asked it. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this word. This one. Ya Rasulullah. Wa inna la mu'akhaduna bima natakallamu bih. How can we hold? Eh? Should we hold the organ which we talk with? Eh? Then how can we talk? Eh? Should we hold it? Then Prophet ﷺ replied, وَحَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسَ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ إِلَّا حَسْوَائِدُ أَلْسَرَتِهِمْ Then what thing? What else thing? What else? Is that which uh, make the people uh, fall into the hellfire except that which they sow and reap eh, with their tongues. So, the result of the, uh, the result of what they sowed uh, during their lifetime in this dunya, okay, eh, with their tongue, what they talk, what they spoke, eh, what they uttered, that is, and because of that, eh, only because of that, they fell into the hellfire. Eh? Okay, so that is very serious thing. Okay, and this hadith is reported recorded by in uh, recorded by so many imams in their hadith kitabs. Eh? And among them, Imam Ahmad, Tirmudi, Nasai, Bin Majah, every all. Then in Tabrani's report, an addition is also there. Thumma inna kalam tazala salima ma sakata. وَإِذَا تَكَلَّمْتَ كُتِبَ عَلَيْكَ أَوْ لَكَ It is. Then, if you keep silence, as long as you keep silence, you will be saved. You will be victorious. فَإِذَا تَكَلَّمْتَ And if you talk, if you speak, if you utter a word, then كُتِبَ عَلَيْكَ It will be against you. أَوْ لَكَ Or for you. That is, if it is bad, it will be against you. And if it is good, it will be for you or in favor of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. then. You know, there are so many hadiths on these subjects from Abu Dhar, Ibn Umar, عنه, which are recorded in various hadith kitabs. Now, in one hadith of Abu Hurairah, recorded by Tirmudhi, Min Husni Islam al Mar'i. It is the perfectness or the beauty of Islam of a person, of a man, to avoid what is not, not needed for him. Eh? So to avoid, uh, don't interfere in unwanted things. Okay. Eh? Then, if he uh, accepts or if he uh, observes such an attitude, then we will be victorious. We will not be falling into so many evils. Okay. Now, in this hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May yadumanuni. That is, in the case of tongue and in the case of farji or private part. Then it denotes that one should observe the duties towards one's tongue by speaking only good things. So one person has a duty towards his tongue. And what is that duty? He should speak only what is good. Here, the text is here. It is. 
وأراد لازمه هو أداء الحق الذي عليه فالمعنى من أدى الحق الذي على لسانه من النطق بما يجب عليه that is what is compulsory what is necessary should be talked by the tongue and that is the duty towards one's tongue okay and also أبيس سمتي أمالا يعني and what is not needed what is not necessary what is what should be avoided should be avoided eh it should not be talked okay eh then wa wa abdal haqq alladhi ala farjihi and what is the duty of one person towards his farz or private part or towards his sex what is what is duty that is it is min wadhihi fal halal he should place it or put it in halal in his uh, halal life partner he can use it and also wakaffihi anil haram he should prevent it he should hold it or he should prevent it in placing it in hal uh, haram or prohibited things or prohibited persons or huh? that is he should use his life partner only halal life partner only that is his wife his husband her husband like that eh other he should not use it in other persons okay then so that is the duty of one person towards his tongue and his private part now now in hadith we see lahyayhi ma bayna lahyayhi the two bonds lahy means the two bonds lahyayhi the two bonds of his his two bonds that means what is in between the two bonds so what is that what is the explanation given here this huma al alumat they are the two bonds fi janib al fami that is on either side of the mouth that is wal murad and the intention is that bima bainahuma and in between that means what al lisan that is lisan that is tongue wa ma yata'atta bihi an nutuq and here it means that what the problem because of that is the speech or talking with the tongue eh then wa bima bain ar rijlain that which is in between the legs or thighs is al farz and that is the, the private part farz in the general sense it is used for the private part of both male and female okay farz especially it is used for the private part or the vagina of females okay and for the private part of the male there is a special word that is zakar zakar in arabic in uh, english we see we say penis okay then wa qala dawud and dawud explains al murad bima bayna al lahyayn al fam that is the intention or what it denotes in between the jaws the organ uh, in between the jaw bones two jaw bones is fam fam means mouth mouth opening and faqala فيتناول الأقوال والأكل والشرب وسائر ما يتمتع يتأتى بالفم من الفعل. so what all evils, eh? what all prohibited things he talk, what all prohibited items he eat, what all prohibited drinks he drink, what all prohibited things he do with his tongue come under this. Okay, eh? then if the person keep away from all such things, then Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam assure him what al jannah, al jannah, paradise, heaven. Then, then if the person keep away from all such evils, then there uh, remains only some uh, that is hearing and basar that is seeing that is. related to these two organs and actions uh, uh, with his 
yad yadaim that is hands okay eh? so most of the evils come from these organs that is the tongue and the farge private part now if a person uh, use his tongue only for good purpose then he will be saved and nanutaka bil lisani yaslim fi husuli kulli matlub fa idha lam yantaq bihi illa fi khair salima so if a person speak only good things then he will be salima he will be saved he will be salim no waqal ibn batwal dalla al hadith ala anna awlam al bala'i ala al mar'i fi al dunya lisanuhu wa farjuhu fa man wuqiya sharrahuma wuqiya a'lam al sharr ibn batwal says in this world most of the trials faced by human beings are because of his tongue and his farj that is private part or sex and from this hadith it is evident that if anyone is free from the vices or the wickedness or the uh, bad things of those two organs then he will be able to keep away from most of the vices most of the bad things and that is the uh, intention of this hadith now in the hadith of abu huraira in one hadith of abu huraira riyallahu anhu from prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man waqahu allah sharra ma bayna lahyihi wa sharra ma bayna rijlihi dakhal jannah whoever is saved by allah from the vices of the organ that which is in between his jaw bones and from the vices of the organ that which is in between his two thighs then he'll be saved and he will be entering he'll enter al jannah paradise jannah heaven salam alaikum wa alaikum